Hey, welcome to episode one of John Foster's show, what I call a discussion for creatives, for artists. And by artists, I don't mean necessarily just musicians. This can apply across the board in certain parameters, um, whether it's poets, actors, uh, musicians, songwriters, script writers, um, obviously painters, but my expertise being in, in music, I'm going to tend to lean on that. But, but, the, but the basics of what I'm going to speak with you about are going to go across the board to all artists. Um, and so getting right into it, and I've, I'm loosely basing a Latin term, um, pulcra chaos, pulcra chaos, beauty from chaos. I think if you notice most artistic people um, I've certainly noticed, and even just noticed in myself, um, the sensitivity, the vulnerability it, that it takes to be a really effective, dynamic artist that creates another person to have a, an emotional effect. The masses sometimes have emotional effect, outcome of extreme, they're affected. Um, comes a lot of times from a, a chaotic a structure, beauty from chaos, from chaos, book like chaos, uh, beauty from chaos, taking that, all that is chaotic in the artistic brain and spirit and structuring it so that you can consistently be effective in creating an emotional outcome. That's what we do. And so, um, lesson one, I want to get, I want you to, some, this is important, I want you to get this in your vocabulary. Words are important. And um, this is something that I've known a long time. I want to talk to you about this. And it doesn't matter if you're 21, 18, if you're just getting started, or if you're uh, 61 and you're still an artist at heart. Get this in your vocabulary. What, what we're doing when people say, hey, when are you going to be out playing? Um, I have gotten into my my vernacular I pair it back to them. Uh, I will be performing, not playing. I'm not playing. I'll be performing or I'll be working such and such date at such and such uh, venue. Now, that's extremely important because playing is this. Um, let's just say there's a performance um, somewhere. And um, what playing is, is you get up and I do a few songs. and I think, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going to go back to the house I'm going to put on my robe. No, that's playing. Now, if you're doing this as your livelihood, especially, or even if you're semi-professional and you want to be, do a, be you want to be a professional, you're not playing. You're working and um, you're performing. So I want you to get it in your head because if you give someone the idea that you're playing, the masses just by default are going to take upon themselves that what we do is just we, we've been given this talent and we're just going around having fun all the time. And it devalues. It devalues what we do. And I say value. Let's come down to it. It comes down to our, to our resources, our, our dollars, our energy, our mojo. I mean, artists, when we give it up, if we give it up fully, give it, give it all as unto God when we do our work, uh, it, it takes resources. It takes energy. It, sometimes it takes finances. And um, so, yeah, we're not playing. We're working. We're performing. And if I could just kind of help get you started, I think this is vital. Learn it. If it takes years to get it into your vocabulary, if someone says, when are you playing? You're not playing if you're a pro. You are working. You are performing is the word I normally come back with. And... Um, Anyway, I just there's going to be a, a bunch of essentials I want to cover, and I want to help to avoid some pitfalls that some of them that I've had to learn the hard way. I hope to um to um import this to your to your journey to your picture of them. Um, and like I said, I'm still learning. 